Hiya. Last year, a friend of mine lost her house and everything in it due to a fire. And it got me to thinking about, if it happened to me, what would I try and save? For sure, all of us would try and save different things. I know my wife would try and save different things than I would. And that's the same for everybody, I think. A 23-year-old single guy is not going to want to save the same things as a 40-year-old lady who's got three children. And so what I thought I'd do today is just take a quick look around my house and see what things I would try and save. Now, at the moment, we're in my office and uh, there's quite a lot in here that is important to me. Now, as you can see behind me, there's a bookcase. Now, all of these books have been important to me at one time or other. But could I choose one? Well, actually, I could. And it would be this one. Robert Shuler's Tough Times Don't Last, But Tough People Do. I've read it at various times since I bought it in the 90s. And it always helps me overcome problems when I'm having tough times. Behind me, you can see a lot of my albums. Now they're quite important to me, but to be fair, they're not the only ones that I have in this office. If I open the cupboard in here, you can see a whole load more. Not only that, I have CDs up the top. There's two rows of them. There's CDs in here. And of course, a bunch of singles as well. And they're not the only singles I have in here either. I'm now laid on the floor and behind me, there's one, two, three more boxes of singles. And whilst I'm down here, if you look behind me, there's a box there and a box there too. There's some CDs all in here. And just there, there's some more singles. So as you can see, I quite like my bits of vinyl behind me. You may remember that I've had that the other week. That's got all my camera equipment in it. Now down here, I have my collection of real to real tapes and these are very important to me. These tapes here, this one, this one, this one, and this one were my dad's. They come from 1958, two years before I was born. And they are the tapes that had all of the singles of the time on. And they're the ones that started my love of music. So they're really important to me. We're now in my bedroom. And as you can see behind me, there is another bookshelf. And on the top bookshelf there are two ones that are really important to me as well. This first one is a photo album. It's full of photos of my two boys as they were growing up. That's really important to me. And uh, <sighs> this book here is about my family. It's about the fairgrounds way back in time. There's my great grandfather. There's my granny. So this is also an important book to me. We're now in my living room. And behind me, you can see a poster about my family on its show from the early 1900s. It's not an original poster, it's one I designed myself, I've got to be honest. But it's important to me because it tells of my heritage. And just here, well, that's my family coat of arms. It was given to me by my aunt over 20 years ago. And so that's important to me as well. And now we find ourselves in my garage of all places and up on the shelf behind me you'll see three suitcases. Now those suitcases contain the photograph collection of my parents going back as far as the 1940s when my mum was a teenager during World War II and right up to when my kids were babies, I suppose. They both passed away in the 90s and I've had those photos since then. So they're really important to me. And so at the end of the day, I suppose all this proves is that how hard it would be to get the important things of your life out in a fire. However, I have managed to boil it down to a couple of things that I would definitely take if it was possible, of course, for me to get them out. And that's two hard drives that sit behind me on my desk. And the reason for that is that my whole music collection is held 
on those hard drives. Also, my whole photo collection, those of my family and myself, are on those hard drives. So at the end of the day, that's all I'd really need. If I get with them, I could get everything else is buyable again, I think, with the exception of the photos of my children that are in my bedroom. But they are on those two hard drives. So at the end of the day, that's the only thing that I'd take. It's um, a hard thing to think though, isn't it? What would you take? What would be the things that you would want to take with you? Doing this little exercise has made me think one thing though. I'm really tempted to buy a little suitcase and put it downstairs by my front door and pack in some of those things that are really important to me. Well, that's it for this week. Not really a happy topic, I suppose. However, it's one that we really should think about. And uh, if you've enjoyed this, please hit that like button. Up there is a video. Um, check that out as well. And I'll see you next time. Ta-da now.